It's only if you had a case of terrible amnesia that you could support this legislation. George Bush, with this Congress, cut taxes in 2001, didn't pay for those tax cuts, didn't need to because they would pay for themselves. That's what they said. It's exactly what they're saying today. It's exactly what they're saying today. Then in 2003, Mr. President, they passed another tax cut and they didn't pay for it. But they said it would pay for itself. And Mr. President, that's supply side economics, which is exactly the same movie that we're seeing today, resulted in the worst recession since the Great Depression. This will be the largest non-recession caused deficit in, the, in our history since World War II. What a disgrace! Just like the 01 tax cut, just like the 03 tax cut, they're not paying for it. They are borrowing the money from middle-class families all over the country, from the sons and daughters of teachers and firefighters and police officers. That's who's gonna have to pay back that bill. And for what, to end poverty in America? No. To invest in infrastructure or healthcare or to strengthen our safety net? No. To fritter it away on $34 billion worth of tax cuts for the wealthiest people in America. And I'm gonna close just by saying this, I would never, ever, before I got here <clears throat> nine years ago, have believed that something this cynical could happen on the floor of the Senate. I wouldn't have believed it.